From the beginning, we were wrong. And only now, well into the second decade of the conflict, have we begun to understand the mistakes we have made. We lived in harmony among the Fey, in a world awakened to new magic. Perhaps we should have foreseen what might be born on this rising tide. What force might awaken. A force powerful enough to twist even the eternal and the mutable faith of <laughs> But Gadflo, the new king of the Winter Court, surprised us all. Singular among his people, he was all that other Fae were not. Aggressive, ambitious, visionary. He had power like none we had ever seen. Terrible and deadly. Gadflo and his followers, the Tuatha Deon, believed that a new god was to be born in the east, beneath Gadflo's crystalline fortress of Amethyn. In the name of that god, they marched to war against the young races of Amalur. Against a mortal army, no matter the power of their god, we might have been victorious. But the Fae are creatures of magic, not bound by the laws of life and death. Each two of us are fallen on the battlefield would soon rise again, for the Fae do not know death as we do. How could we stand against such a force? For ten years the war raged. For ten years the armies of men and Alpha fought and died. But as our numbers dwindled, we knew that it was only a matter of time. Our fate had been written. At least, that is what we believed. Until you died. is that Alpha, Lorraine, could even be a Jotun. Always a surprise, eh, Garan? Eyes on the job, boy. Don't matter what it is, dead's dead. And be thankful for that, all we've seen. Go on and pull back the sheet, though. It'll need to be in our report, one way or the other.
human. And not in bad shape. I'll name by the look of him. You know how you can tell? Turn him over. See if there's a stick in his ass. All right then. Make sure it goes into the report. You know he'll want all the details. Amazing how well the body held up. Better than I've seen. I'm just glad it's not moving. Must have been born under a lucky star, this one. Anything else we need? Unless you'd like to name him, I think we're done. Put him with the others. Well, that's it for you then. Better luck next time.
children of dust. Scatter before the might of the... Stay away! Thank you. I, if you hadn't come along, I, wait. I've seen you before. On the slab. You, you were dead. It worked. By the tome, it worked. You're alive. Uh, well, uh, you died. I don't know how or even where. But your body was remade in the Well of Souls and somehow... It worked. The well restored your soul to your body, and it worked. We must get you to Professor Hughes right away. He'll have questions for you. Oh, my. You don't know? Oh, perhaps the process damaged your memory. They are the Tawatha Deon, the enemies of all the young races. We've never seen them this far inland. Not even during the invasion, I... I don't know why they are here. Hughes may have the answer to that as well. You must stay alive and reach him. <laughs> Professor Formerus Hughes, the Well of Souls is his life's work. The Tuatha are coming into the lower levels. If we hurry, we should be able to beat them to the top. Take these. They'll help keep you safe long enough to get to Hughes. Now, let's get going! Let me get this door. Right this way. Uh, you go first. <laughs> invention, the well of souls. Imagine an end to war, an end to death.
storerooms. See if you can find anything useful. something? more than just that sword. That one had a bow. Get it? Archers up ahead. Best shoot them before they see us.
Tigers are deadly if you catch an enemy unaware. Their speed more than makes up for their size. Cave blossoms only respond in the presence of magic. Perhaps there is more to you than it seems. completely covered the tunnel. Maybe you can use that staff to burn a path through. <laughs> Thank you. 
That's what I <laughs> Freeze your body and mind. That's why mages prefer it. Leather, this is where we part ways. But take whatever you want from this armory. We might have a few things that would fit you. Just make sure you get to choose. We can hold off the Tawatha here. I suppose these might be able to help if the Tawatha realize what you are. You'll need them. We can't risk you getting killed. You're proof that the well can work. Don't you realize what that means? Just keep going past the top of the well. Hughes will be there in his study. I'll see you on the outside. If Late armor. Nothing protects quite like layers of impervious metal. You've made it! And look at you! Even with all you've been through, the Tuatha, your return from the dead... Please forgive me, you must be terribly confused by all of this. I am Fomorous Hughes, and this is my laboratory at Alastar. Everything you see here is dedicated to one thing, the Well of Souls, the pursuit of immortality. And you, you're my first success. If we only had the time, there's so much we might learn from one another. Too much to explain right now. The Tuatha have come to stop my work, but I don't believe they know about you. Not yet. What's important is getting you out of here safely. You're the only proof of what we've achieved here. I may not be able to save the well, but I can ensure that its only success is safe. Yes, yes, you're right. I, I've got my notes, but it's most important that you stay safe. It's just that you... You're... Wait, fascinating. Simply astounding. I'm not certain what's caused it, but somehow... Uh, yes, as I was saying, I'm not sure what... Perhaps I should go see. Sir, sir, Mr. Hughes, the Tawatha have reached the lab. That inside the map. No! 
We've got to get you out of here now, quickly! Follow the path to the Tower of Gorhart. Find Agar. He's a friend, and he may be able to help. No matter what else, stay alive! <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
I saw you fighting there. We could have used more of you. Did he really have a troll? I don't know how the Twather found us, but if they had a troll, it couldn't have been an accident. Fate was kind to collapse that doorway behind you, or they would have chased us into the glade. Good luck out there. I remember you. You're... You're the one? How did you come back? How did you find me here? No, I had no idea anything like that would happen. The Well of Souls is bigger than one gnome's pet project. My employer pays for information about its progress. I just send the reports to make some money on the side. I never wanted anyone to get hurt. I, I, I don't have... Okay. Here. It's all I've got. Plus what I got paid for the information. I don't want any part of this. I'm going home to Odessa.
come from the tower, haven't you? Name's Agar. Maybe you can help an old fate weaver, eh? Did he? Poor old Fomerus Hughes. He respected the way the world works. What a shame. He's probably dead by now. The cards told me that the Well of Souls would work, but Hughes' success would come on the day of his death. He took it pretty well, honestly. Although we did a lot of drinking after that. I suppose I could spare a little help in memory of Hughes, or in celebration of his success. Whichever. You. You're the one. Then that means... It all makes sense now. The cards this morning. I drew the Gravedigger, the Running Man, and the Beast. Prepare yourself. They're coming. What are you? The threads of fate. I've seen them before, but I've never seen anyone manipulate them like that. You just changed how the world was supposed to work. How did you do that? Hughes may have brought you back to life, but that was still part of fate's plan. Nothing short of a god can do what you did. Come here. I'm going to do a reading. You might be able to change the threads, but fate will still have a plan for you. I promise not to tell you if I see your death. That would be my guess. He was an academic, but he had a proper respect for fate's plan, unlike most gnomes. You're nervous. Relax. This is what fate weavers do. I'll be seeing your place in the pattern of destiny. Who you are, what you've done, where your path takes you. Or, at least, I should be. You're real, right? I swear I haven't had that much. Fate's weave is always hard to see. It's in motion, hard to make out, but undeniably there. Yours is just... missing. This doesn't make sense. All mortal creatures have a place in the pattern. You should have one too, dead or not. If this is true, and I'm not saying I believe it, then your path is yours to determine. It could mean nothing, or it could mean everything. The world is changing. You might be a sign of that, or maybe the cause. 
I've never had a reason to doubt my own readings, but we should consult with Arden. He's not a friend, but he's got a good eye for the tapestry. I'll meet you at his home to the east. I'm going to see if I can be of any help to the wounded at the tower. What could this all mean?